Hey guys, this is Pharaoh2091, and welcome back to Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Justice for All for Nintendo DS. Last we left off, we are continuing with the testimonies from Miss Andrews, and she has a lot of testimonies, I just realized that. And yeah, it's going on for quite a while, but we have to keep getting more information as we can. We can't let this trial end today. I mean, no, we need it. We. We need a verdict today. We need we need Matt to be not guilty today, because we all know it's going to happen if we don't. So we we got a close call, but from the help of Edgeworth, we did get another testimony out of her, and this is, that's what we're going to hear right now. So let's hear her testimony of when I found the body. <clears throat> the glass of juice. I didn't really pour it for myself. I was surprised when I walked into her room and I saw it in that messy state. Juan, he was sitting slumped over and he looked tired looking in the corner. When I saw him sitting like that, the thought of that he was dead didn't cross my mind. To be honest, I thought he had just fainted or something, so I went to pour him, pour him some juice. When I realized he was dead, that's why I knocked the flower vase over. Hmm, so you poured that glass of juice for the victim. Why didn't you say so in your earlier testimony? I didn't think I needed to include something so trivial. Phoenix, please be careful here. If you can't find anything wrong with the testimony, then there's nothing left. I know. Edgeworth, what the heck is going on in that brain of yours? Now then, Mr. Wright, you may be getting cross-examination. Alright then. I think this cross-examination is actually very easy compared to everything else we've had. It's, it's kind of right in our faces. Um, right here, with this statement coming up right here. When I saw him sitting like that, the thought of that he was dead had, didn't cross my mind. Right away, I should say, wait a minute. If you saw him like this, you wouldn't think that he was dead. I don't know, but I don't know about you guys, but when I see a knife freaking protruding out of somebody, or that stabbed in somebody, then yeah, I would think that person might be dead. So, that's a clear, clear contradiction. Objection! So you honestly didn't think he was dead when you found him? No, not at all. Even though this is what you saw when you discovered a body. Well, what is the meaning of this? Isn't it obvious, Your Honor? There is a knife sticking straight out of Juan's chest. Anyone who saw this scene would have immediately thought that, this, that here was a dead man. Uh, um, that's... Well, you see, I doubt a single person in the world would mistake this for someone who fainted and then go nonchalantly go pour something to drink. Your point is, Miss Andrews, your testimony just now, it was all one giant lie. And there was another pair of glasses. And your lie has proven one thing very clearly, that you are the real killer. No! Oh, did we get a confession? She broke down, right? Uh, looks like the defense has somehow brought the ugly truth to light. Defendant, Mr. Man on Guard, is not guilty after all. That, but that's impossible. You're wrong. Miss Andrews, try to have some composure. It, it wasn't me. It wasn't me, I tell you. It was Matt. I swear it, he's the one who killed Juan. But you were the one who refused to testify. And your reason for not doing so is, the, is that so was that you might end up incriminating yourself. That's because... Miss Andrews, I will give you one last chance. What exactly are you hiding that may incriminate you? I... I... I refuse to testify. Oh, jeez. She... Whatever, I mean, if my client's gonna go away, then, I mean, gonna be okay, then whatever. And there's no need for this court to continue the, my, any further. Mr. Man on Guard's innocence has been clearly demonstrated. Is... is it... over? 
Have we... Have we found the truth at last? What's wrong, Phoenix? Usually... I don't know, well, usually the real killer confesses his or her guilt at this point. And now that I think about it, this is the first time someone has it. Now then, I would like to hand down my verdict for Mr. Man on Guard. What the fu- No! Damn it, Edger, this is the damn example of you being a dick right now. You were cool not even a couple minutes ago, I mean, where you told me the court was going to go to another day, but you held it off. And that was a cool thing. But now the court was going to end today, and I was going to get a verdict, and now you're being a dick. What the hell, man? Your Honor, prosecution feels that it would be premature to pass down a verdict at this time. What? The reason is quite simple, actually. The witness has yet to speak the absolute real truth. Okay. The absolute real truth? What are you... Witness, don't you understand yet? Huh? I don't know who planted this silly idea in your head, but as long as you protect yourself through your silence, Madame Guard will go free, and in his place, you will become the guilty party. That's... that's a lie! I, I don't believe you! What? I... I was told if I spoke... If I spoke, then it would be all over, and Matt would never be declared guilty. What in the world was she talking about? Has she lost it? I... I can't speak about it. I'm too scared. It's Franziska von Karma. Huh? Don't you remember, Phoenix? It's Andrew's Liz by gripping tightly onto the words of another. Because she doesn't have the strength to believe in herself. Then, right now, Miss Andrews is... Yesterday she was tossed a lifesaver on Miss Von Karma. Don't say a word no matter what happens. If you do, Man on Guard will be acquitted. Miss Andrews undy undyingly believes in those words right now and is clinging on to them. Then what should we do? This... This is the first time I've come over... <coughs> what, I came out of nowhere? <coughs> <coughs> what the hell? <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Wow. Alright. This is the first time I've ever come across on anything like this. But Miss Andrews has to be the killer, right? All we have to do now is is to get our not guilty, and that's my only priority. It wasn't me. I'm begging you, please believe me. I didn't kill Juan. Help. Please. Someone help me. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. The court can't continue on like this. Therefore, I'd like to hear what you intend to do. What I intend to do? What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to say? Right? I suggest you think very carefully about this. Think about this witness and what this witness did and what she did not do. And think about who is the real master behind this crime. Who's the real mastermind? Isn't that obvious? There's no, no one else that could be except the woman crying over there. Right? Come on! Who will you... God <coughs> damn it. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. <coughs> I don't know what the hell's up with me. Actually, I'll be right back. Alright, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. I'm still getting over this damn uh, cold or whatever I had, so I'm coughing here and there. I just really couldn't talk at that point. <coughs> what? Let's continue on. Come now. What will you do? What kind of man are you, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Well, I don't know. This is a point where, like, morally, you don't know what to do. I mean, you want to request a not guilty verdict because you want um, Maya to go free. You want everything to be okay. But morally, and you, it just doesn't feel like something's right here. So, 
let's get everything straight. Let's get her to testify. I mean, what else can- I mean, that's what we gotta do. <coughs> man, I'm still coughing. Ah, oh, man. I have to win a complete acquittal today. There's no way around that. But, I can't bring myself to do it like this. Not when she's making a face like that. Miss Andrews, I would like to know what you're really hiding. Mr. Wright, are you sure you know what you're doing here? Sure, Mr. Guard will get a not a good, will get an acquittal, but in his place, you will be found guilty. Is this is this how you really want this trial to end? Be quiet! How dare you! You're trying to trick me. That's enough. I commend you for trying, Mr. Edgeworth. However, it's clear the defense's theory is the truth. You're wrong. Such a shame. I had hoped things wouldn't come to this. However, what is it, Mr. Edgeworth? <clears throat> Miss Andrews, since you absolutely refuse to testify, it falls on my shoulders to disclose this to the court. S Stop! Uh, Mr. Edgeworth? This witness... Oh, how should I put this? She has an illness. What?! And because of this illness, she has tried to commit suicide in the past. Stop! Please stop! No matter how much you want to hide it, it's no use. I have the evidence right there. Ugh! That's... That's the second part of the suicide report. The attempted suicide report. What will you do now, witness? You know what I, what I am about to do, don't you? I will now reveal to the court the true nature of the pitiful woman known as Adrian Andrews. The secret for codependent nature. Having other people know about it scares her more than anything else in the world. Please! Please stop! I beg you! If people find out... If people find out, I... I'll... If you're gonna say you would choose death, then that is no concern to me. Edgeworth, how can you be so cold? However, before you die, I will pull the truth from your breathing lips, no matter what I have to do. So, will you tell the court yourself or shall I? Either is fine with me. I... I'll talk, but please, help me. Nothing matters anymore. Wow. Yes, I was very, um... cold in the sense of what Edgeworth just did, but it seems like it might have worked to actually get her to testify about what truly happened, so... Next time, guys, we're going to go ahead and hear her testimony about her crime or whatever the hell she has to, she was hiding. So, as usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All for Nintendo DS. I'll see you guys later.